Michael Neetzing from IceQman101 at youtube.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the NVIDIA installer failed error when you're installing your GeForce GTX Experience driver or if you're just trying to install your the latest NVIDIA driver. Uh, so we're just going to check out how to do this. So first what you want to do is go on my website iceqman101.weebly.com and download this NVIDIA installer failed fix steps.pdf and I have that already installed on my downloads folder. So I'm going to be opening that on Adobe Acrobat. And pretty much this will give you all the steps that you need and it will give you all the, the links. So I'm going to provide the links in the description but you don't really need that. So first of all go back to my website on the downloads tab and then you want to download DDU version 15.72.0 exe so download that file now once you've downloaded that file I accidentally downloaded it twice uh, let's just delete one of them okay so what you want to do is create a new folder and name it DDU and then this is a self-extracting archive for the zip. Uh, you want to go to downloads and then click the folder that you just created. Press OK and extract. Now this might take a second or two, but it will be pretty quick. Now after you do this, don't touch anything else. Now go back to the PDF file and download your graphics card compatible so the driver, I mean the graphics card that you have, make sure that you get the compatible driver directly from the NVIDIA website. So the link is right here. And then uh, just go to that website. Now I have a GeForce type graphics card, 900M series, G GTX 960M. And make sure this is yours, don't copy mine. And I'm running Windows 10 64-bit and I'm gonna use English and then make sure you search and download and then agree and download now as I, I have already downloaded this so I'm not going to be downloading it again but once you have downloaded it make sure you move it from your downloads folder and then move it onto your desktop so let me just show you that mine is already on the desktop so this is the compatible driver for mine as you can see NVIDIA package launcher NVIDIA corporation this is the one the mo latest driver for my version of Windows and my graphics driver now make sure that you have that on your desktop before you proceed next thing you want to do is you want to go to that DDU folder that you created and go to display driver on installer dot exe and double click that and then click yes and it's gonna tell you that you are not in safe mode and it's highly recommended that you reboot into safe mode and I do recommend that you do do that uh, but I'm just gonna say no right now and then uh, you're going to be once you click reboot into safe mode you're going to be your computer is going to restart and this is automatically going to pop up after your computer restarts and what you're going to want to do is click clean and restart highly recommended so you want to click that now I'm not going to be using that right now because I've already done it on my computer but uh, you just want to do that clean and restart so after you do that your computer will restart and then what you want to do is go directly to uh, wherever your NVIDIA driver was installed, whatever whatever folder was installed. Most likely you're going to go to Windows C or wherever your Windows is installed and it's going to be NVIDIA right here. Now it's going to say display driver and all your version and everything like that. 
and what you want to do is you want to delete this folder I'm not gonna do that but uh, it will let you delete it because you don't have the driver any longer but if I try to delete it now it won't let me because I do still have the driver uh, now if you don't find it in your Windows C folder uh, you probably want to go to Windows C and then go to drivers and then you'll see Nvidia now let me show you where mine is mine is actually not even on Windows C you can actually customize it and put it wherever you want now I have two hard drives on my computer so I put on local disk D and I have it under drivers and then Nvidia so this is where mine is installed so when you delete it make sure the one you delete looks m very similar to this uh, display driver it, it probably won't have all this different stuff but make sure it has you know at least your display driver and all that different stuff and then you want to delete that okay so now I'm going to be Xing this out and then say no once you have deleted the file what you want to do is go to your uh, go on your desktop so we're gonna look back and make sure we've done everything so we've downloaded that uh, we have uninstalled the driver and we've deleted the Nvidia folder uh, now once we've rebooted it you need to install the driver for your graphics card that is saved on your desktop and you're done so basically what you want to do is double click this install file I will not go through it but you pretty much click the extraction path and then you do it and then you install it so I'll show you how to do it by not actually doing it uh, but here's the guide so as we've done already we have downloaded it okay and we've saved it on the desktop as it shows right here and now you have to run it as administrator and as you can see like I showed you before what you want to do is click the extraction path and you can put this anywhere but I recommend you don't touch it and then what you're gonna want to do is press agree and continue and then w once it comes to the part where it says install options this is very very important listen up you want to do custom advanced okay so as you can see right there click custom advanced then click next uh, and make sure all of these are checked or what if you don't want one of them or something like that you can uncheck it and then one more important thing perform a clean install make sure that's checked um, and if you don't have that those two options checked your it might not work so and then you want to click next and then it's going to proceed to install your screen is probably going to flash a couple of times it's going to take around five to ten minutes and it's going to finally install and then you can restart your computer and you're all done now if we go back to check what our uh, PDF says uh, as we can see right here uh, so yeah once we've rebooted you need to install your driver and then that's it you're done so this is brought to you by iceq man 101 please make sure you like comment share subscribe do all that great stuff so i can bring you guys great content like this in the future as well thanks for watching this video and again like it says please like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching see you guys in the next one peace out